Shani Shan, this is Shani Reads. Uh, it's Friday morning, it's March the 1st, it's St David's Day, so happy St David's Day. I've just been out to buy my daffodils. Um, so I'm going to work in a bit, but I thought I'd just do a quick kind of um, Friday Reads. So I've been a little bit, kind of finding it difficult to settle on a book, and I think I've been in a slightly more non-fiction-y feeling rather than fiction. Um, yeah, so I've been kind of picking up books, starting them and then putting them down again. One major one that I put down, never to pick up again, I would say, is One Piece by Leo Tolstoy. I got, I was reading this with um, Charlotte and Joe and Doris and I got, I don't know, is it about 150 pages in um, and I wasn't enjoying it and none of it was staying in so it just seemed a bit pointless to keep going with it because I wasn't you know I could have forced myself to read a certain amount like a day but um yeah I wasn't really getting anything out of it so I'm not gonna yeah I've given up on it <laughs> and I'm not gonna go back to it either so me and um, One Piece are officially over um and yeah and then I kind of just picked up a few bits so I have picked up and read half of Bea Spem's and Notorious Liars um, a Dangerous Trans Girls Confabulous Memoir by Kai Cheng Tom. And I do like this one, but it didn't kind of, and I'm definitely going to read it, but it hadn't really gripped me. And I think it's more me rather than the book. So I have got about, I've got to page 50. I'm going to, I've sort of put this one slightly aside and will revisit it a little bit later on when I'm kind of feeling a little bit more in the mood. And the same goes for the Rachel Kusk outline. I know I'm going to like it, but when I picked it up, it wasn't quite what I wanted to read right now. So, a little bit of a struggle, but then <laughs> I've been reading this one. So this is a proof copy, and I know it's coming out really soon. It's Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, Bert read this, and I think it made his favourite books of last year, and he kept saying for me to read it, um, and I kind of hadn't fancied it. And then I picked up, actually I think it was watching... Um, Eric and Anna's video about what might be on the women's price and Anna talked about how much she loved it and I thought I should read it. Obviously Bert had been telling me all along but it took Anna to tell me. <laughs> um, and I haven't been, I've only been reading it for a couple of days and I'm already on like page 100. It's like super easy to read because it's like told through um, almost like little interviews with different people and it's about um, this kind of fictional band in the 60s and the 70s um, kind of starting off and writing songs and drugs and drinking and all the relationships it's like it is really fun and so it is meant to be being made into a series I think or a film isn't it by um, Reese Witherspoon and yay so after I mean Taylor Jenkins Reid also wrote um, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I bought that one for Bert after he loved this so much and he wasn't quite as into um, Seven Husbands which I know lots of people have loved but he, he still thought it was good but he didn't this one he was kind of um, really swept away by and I think because partly because he really likes sort of 60s and 70s music as well um, yeah so it's so fun if you've read it let me know um, I'm going to definitely buy the um, the proper edition when it comes out because it's got a really beautiful cover uh, but that is what I'm going to be reading this weekend although I'm working a lot this weekend so not much time for reading I hope you have more reading time <laughs> I will see you soon bye